but Bowling Green believes they've got the team that can get back to the MAC championship game. It'll be the Broncos receiving the opening kickoff. This is Sean Tyler. He is electric. Tyler up the right hash. Look at the near sideline where Western resides on first down. Nice carry, wiggling his way outside the numbers past the 30s for the junior out of the state of Illinois. Running back is Salam. Instead, they will the right play. Borgay out of the shotgun. From the pocket, throws far side. Averaging just under 41 yards a punt this year. Rodgers back to receive. Bowling Green has been terrific returning punts this year. Top 15 in the country. This will be a fair catch, though. To a national title in 79, played seven years in the NFL, and two brothers. Play. Along with this motion. On second down and long. McDonald from the pocket, missiles one complete, caught at the 30, and wrestled down. That'll move the sticks from the 31-yard line to the ground game. Little wiggle, great run inside, past the first down marker, and down. On first down. Little sweep action to the far side, and that's the defensive lineman in high school. You say you're going to move him over to offense and work the opposite way for Fisk. Johnson in the backfield, swing past the near side. With Barnes and Corvin Moment, who's look the at this look. defensive got player. Three standing up over on the left side of the offensive line. On third and long, good pressure in college football at the beginning of the year. You're getting major dividends. Here's another one. Sammy Sir from Melbourne, Australia, gets off a good one. That'll bounce inside the 10, but not able to... Bowling Green has been pressuring quarterbacks all year long. 32 sacks, the second highest total in the country. And that was a huge program a confidence builder for us. This has been a little bit of a turnover year for them. They've made it to three bowl games in five years. Pass complete. Tyler to the left of Borgay. Gets the handoff and nothing doing. Like they're going to be a little bit too much to handle here early on. And with that, we might see more of this. Punting. Mahalik. And a fair catch. Could be in second place. In the Western Division. From the 30 yard line, it's McDonald. And a little toss to the far side and scooting down. The... Fakes the draw. Pocket collapsing and he will go down. A loss of seven on the play. Quick pass. Caught at the 30. Past the 40. Wiggling past the 45 into plus territory. Little pitch play to the edge. And great running room. Patterson, the lone back on second and short. Pressure coming and going down. Excellent job there by Braden Fisk. Rocco's defense had seven sacks last week in that win against Miami of Ohio. Another quick pass play. Popped and dropped. Out in six. Too long for a field goal. They will punt it. Sir will try to pin him inside the five. It's going to bounce right around there. Bounces at the seven and perfect. Great to be with you here from the Doit in Bowling Green, Ohio. An unseasonably warm night. Both these offenses trying to heat up. And down in nine. Borgay out of the shotgun, handoff behind the right side of the line. Pop in position. Extra bodies over him. Both teams 0 for 2 on third down. Handoff. Test favorite players on this entire football team. Talk about what a great athlete he is. Punters are people too, right? Tonight I'm going to allow it. <laughs> Caught at midfield by Rodgers. Tries a shake and bake to the 45. And somehow gets it. Best field position of the night for either side. Bowling Green starting in plus. Team of either one of the tight ends for Bowling Green. They're very high on both of them. Instead, it's back to the ground. Aim. Patterson the lone back behind McDonald. Gets the carry and will push the pile ahead at 25. Ball came out late. Ball came out late. We'll see what the call is on the field at the 25. And they will say Western Michigan has it. They do. That's lovely on the recovery. Boy, I tell you, a heck of a job by Kanai Lovely. 18 for this Western Michigan defense. There he is. Watch him just rip that football out. It's difficult to see from that angle if the knee was down before yeah. that ball came loose. And then he goes and grabs the football as well. Excellent play. Where is that right knee? Comes the play of the game thus far, taking away a scoring opportunity for the Falcons. 
All kinds of time, deep ball throw down the middle and double coverage and it's picked off. Picked off by Chris Bacon. Bacon racing down the sideline, past the 30, and... I just don't know what Trace and Borgay saw on this play. You got cover two, safety over the top has help. And look at Bacon just attack the football. It's an excellent job high pointing it. And Chris Bacon brings it back home for Bowling Green. Yeah, Corey this Crooms had no chance of making that reception. Felt comfortable for whatever reason, and the defense did not give him that look. No back-to-back -back turnovers. Now McDonald sets up a little screen pass, caught at the 20. Second down and nine. Split twin formation from the pocket. McDonald steps up, missiles one, complete at the 20. And forward progress. Here's a third down and four. Quick throw, caught. One career touchdown passes. A first down and goal, empty backfield. Missiles one in the flat, caught at the top. 6-7 at the top of your screen. Watch that here in the red zone. And penalty flag. 10. Yeah. Up top here in the red zone. Ball start. Offense number 77. Five-yard penalty. Second down. Some of your screen. Play action. Rolling out. Toss complete at the 10. And McDonald 11 for 11. This is third down and goal. 6-7 at the bottom of your screen. McDonald looking there, firing one-on-one -on -one coverage and perfect. What amounts to about a chip shot here, 24 yards from the near hash. Snap and hold are true, and so too is the kick. Quint Kestick roaming the sidelines tonight. Bowling Green out to a 3-0 lead. Defense has dominated this football game so far as the Broncos field a short kickoff at the 9. An alley down the sideline, past the 30. Some of the easy stuff not working. Understandable that he would try to force one. You got good field position here. We'll see if the Broncos can take advantage of first. Into the boundary. There you go, quick throw. Get it out to him. Maybe let your playmaker make a play. Breaks a couple of times. And I think that's where you should be ranked, not by how somebody feels about him. Can't say enough about the job Sonny Dykes has done. For real on this, fourth down and short. Borgay back in there. They stack it up in the backfield, trying to get a rugby push. It's right near the marker. This, and obviously Borgay trying to go up over the top. No not dice. Get it. Neath. Might we see a deep ball here? Here comes the blitz. Steps up. Gets out of trouble. Throws up in the middle. Complete. No drops. Georgia. That'll push him to a second and ten. Big hole down the third down. Call it a short two. Play action. Penalty flag. McDonald. Cox and fires. Diving. Motion man makes it trips to the near side. On the move, it's McDonald. Goes underneath. Caught at the 45. A leapfrog down to the 41 yard line. He just understands this offense. Now in plus territory, back to the ground game, trying to get to the edge and completely contained. And some players in between. Pass backwards, looks like a double pass. That's what they're setting up at C.J. Lewis. Can't find anybody. He's going to tuck it and run and dives back. Plays nine yards, uh, now a third and 12. Here comes the blitz. And the pressure coming in, knocked away arm was going forward or was it broncos pounce on it tyson lee a really good field was a fumble recovered by western michigan first and ten western michigan i think football out just a little bit before the throwing motion began barely pushed that ball out right before the throwing motion began Oh, another turnover and a huge hole and firing through it. Zone off the back side of the table of what we were talking about. Could they get it going? Here's another cutback run. 19 yards on the first. And they kind of fall down like they're having Early, a heart attack. Over. Offense number 75. 10-yard penalty. First down. It doesn't work. And not going to get credit. But both these teams, every time something good happens, they shoot themselves in the foot to go backwards. Now it's a first and 20 from midfield. Cox and fires complete at the 45. And lunging. On second down, four-man rush, heavy pressure, deep shot, down the middle. Cut. Great weather. He has no <laughs> idea what's in store when he goes to Central in a couple weeks. <laughs> this is a young man. He's never had a winter, and this is his first fall. First time he sees foliage. 
Dumps it off. And a nice job weaving his way inside the 30. Back in the back. Offense number 63. 10-yard penalty. Third down. It'll be a whole new experience for the freshman. Let's see what he comes up with on a third and 24. They'll play it conservative. Off left tackle and Heavy rush, just getting it off and gets off a beauty. High spiraling kick that'll bounce right at the goal line. And it will be players love him. Players respond to him. They have so far tonight as Bowling Green gets. He's never played defense. That's right. That's right. And that's the A2 league where you're, you're happy if the check clears for a couple of hundred per game. He told me about some of those rough and Might be looking at a face mask here. Personal foul, face masks, defense number 25. That 15-yard penalty will be added to the end of the run. Automatic. That's football, man. Like, that's what it is. That's, right. that, that's how you develop those relationships. That's how you meet people. Life for his guys. On second down. And that's just a... Defense will try to get cooking here. Third down and four. Empty backfield for McDonald. Three-man rush. McDonald escapes the pocket and will run for the first down, barging in the plus first down yardage. And a first down run down the far sideline inside the 20 and shoved out of that play. On first down, keep it on the ground. This time trying the right side. Not this time though, stacked up. Leffler got a gem in Jakari Robinson to be in the middle of this offensive line. Yeah, Cincinnati, then Memphis, now Bowling Green. Tevin Broden, he's in the slot, the bottom of your screen. Pass caught instead underneath at the 24, make it a 28 yard field goal attempt for Lawler. He connected on the 24-yard attempt earlier. And we'll connect here. So two for are in the lead in the SEC West. Let's think they of, have a win against Alabama and Ole Miss. Think of all the criticism that Brian Kelly took after the Florida State loss. Brian Kelly can coach, folks. Uh, I have a feeling he's going to get LSU. But the schedule that TCU has played, what they have accomplished against their opponents, you have to give them credit for. Mike, if we defeated, but for me, TCU deserves to be in the top four right now. Deep ball over the middle and just out of the out. And a very deep Big 12, I might add. Third and long, quarterback scamper. And that's in part because their coverage in that secondary has been strong. On first down, pocket collapsing, and down goes Borgay. And there Speaking of but there you see the inside move from Carl Brooks. Buys a little bit of time. Would be the final play of the half, and they'll play it conservative on the ground. Good looking run, and brought tense overall this season that has been led by the veteran quarterback and Matt McDonald. Return from the goal line, and weaving his way past the 20 down the sideline 30. Back inside the numbers at the 40. Nifty move by Keith. In the plus territory past the 40. Down the 30. Ankle tackle at the 16 yard line. A Boy, a couple of massive blocks on this play, but two by 26 and 24. Davion Daniels and Braxton Todd before the cutback inside. And capitalize. Patterson the back. McDonald out of the shotgun. It's Patterson. On second down. Probing the left side. And a third and short. Third and a yard to be exact. Hand off to the up back, second effort, past the five, and into the end zone, a touchdown, and that is the tight end. Lawler on for the extra point. He's got two field goals, and he has an extra point to his. They have told us a number of times they love their tight ends, not just one or two. They love all four of them, all four involved on the touchdown play. Broncos. Would like to get a good drive going here. Now down two scores and the return. So this is like a 1970s football game. We have <laughs> we have 25 plays at halftime. <laughs> On second and five, handoff. And low. Borgay out of the gun on first down. Again, a first down carry and it goes. Eric Lewis fired up another tackle for loss for this Bowling Green defense that leads the country in sacks. Son Borgay looks back at that defense from looking over. A lot of times it's different than the first time. See if there's another adjustment here. 
Yes. Zero in the slot has been rolling down after this. Going to stay home now. Got to start converting on some of these third downs. Third and eight. With time. Throw is on target. Right to the sticks and then whoop, get back upfield. Quick snap and a first down. Oh. Terry ball is loose. Carl Brooks is an incredible athlete. 6'4", 300. He put on 60 pounds since he arrived. Was a former wide receiver in high school and still says he could play that position. Defense, defense I think he'd rather be the high hurdle. That 15-yard penalty will be added to the end of the run. The low hurdle will be for many medals. Too skinny, maybe played the wrong position in high school. Uh, but with development in this league, they do become potential pros. Yeah, he is ninth play of the drive for the Broncos. Or Gay with Tyler behind him. Feeds him. Tyler finds a crease. Lost the football. And it is oh. still down on the ground. Players crawling for it at the 20. And the Falcons recover. Oh, my. Causing this. I, I think this is just the Bowling Green defense having great awareness as to attack the football and try to get it out. Another one loose. This time, they bring it back to their sideline. Lineman that allowed him to run free and make that play. And a heck of a hustle by Ant. One of those weird Western Michigan fronts with just one defender with his hand on the ground. McDonald. Pressure in the pocket. Steps up, throws over the middle. Complete. No, dropped. This is about as optimal weather condition as you're going to have on a November MAC game. Angled punt toward the near sideline. And a bounce at the 45. It'll be a good one for the Falcons all the way to the 35-yard line where the Broncos will take over. Here on a Wednesday night in Bowling Green, Ohio. Hope you're well. 13-0 thus far. Western Michigan had a great drive. Turned it over for the second time on the last drive. This is a... On second down. That one was tipped at the line of scrimmage. Penalty fact that the ball was tipped. There is tipped. no foul for defensive pass interference. Yeah. The ball was tipped by a defender before the contact occurred. It's an incomplete pass. It's Third down. You know, where, 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 where do you make... On the offense, number 77. Bowling Green, Bowling Green will decline that penalty. Still brings up third down. And they haven't done that yet. I mean, Western Michigan hadn't given us a quarterback run, and they'll read it backside sometimes. Don't have to do it the traditional way, but still haven't even offered it up. Pocket crumbles, Borgay takes off and runs, and there he shows off. He's added late. Borgay, the freshman, hands it off on first down. Group five player that's overlooked in recruiting. Again, he put on a ton of weight once he got to campus. Different looking. Where are you going to create the space here with this look? Passing situation here on third and eight. Pocket holds up. Borgay going to tuck it and run anyway on this year. Four and a half to go, third quarter. Four-man rush, missiles one. Play for Western Michigan. If they're going to get back in this game, circle that one on fourth down. See where they go on first down. There's 40, a safety coming up late. 43rd play of the game for the Broncos, and it's a good one. Caught the 25, weaving his way past the 10, the 5, and a touchdown for Corey Crooms. The Broncos are on the board A 39 of Trayson Borgay. That is his first career touchdown pass. And then they're not going to. It was a worm burner back to him. It's only the third play of over eight yards tonight for the Broncos offense. They have struggled at times, but it's a different looking ball game now. The return by the Falcons going all the way to the other side of the field and shoved out of bounds at the tense guy. When you sit down or you meet with him, and chat ball, he, he's not going to shirk tied for first in the Eastern Division. On a second and short, and a catch from behind. Oak Glade, Florida, Glade Central, same high school that produced Fred Taylor, Redale Anthony, and so many great players. And this is it. From the 49 on first down. Scrambling, looking downfield, throws. Right, I'll go with Coleco that. Vision. Coleco is a video game, I believe. Deep ball down the sideline. <laughs> in ColecoVision, that probably would go as a catch. What do we have in ColecoVision? Pitfall? Here comes the blitz. McDonald has it deflected at the line. Four-man rush. McDonald taps and lets it go. Wide open at the 15. It's caught by the tight end, 
Sims. Receivers so far in this game. A first and goal here. Up by one score, looking to add to it. First out, Carey taking it to the five. Patterson behind McDonald. And a little end around to the five and into the end zone for a touchdown. Ball comes out late. Value of Harold Fannin, 44 for Bowling Green. Look at the block out front right there by Fannin. Excellent job. Here comes Sims. Touchback. Oh, the ball is out. Wow. What a play by Delay. For the Western Michigan yeah, safety. He deserves the belt on that one. That's the third turnover, meanwhile, for Bowling Green. So here come the Broncos, down by a touchdown. On first down, big hole straight up. And it, it did take an exceptional effort on defense to jar that thing loose. I mean, inches before the goal line. Second down from the pocket. Hit it. Broncos four of ten on third down. This is third and four. Fake the draw, fire the pass, and two passes that could have been caught, both of which would have been a first down. So it turns out to be a wasted opportunity for the Broncos. Short punt. Takes a Broncos bounce inside the 35 and a roll. Down. First turnover in the fourth quarter for Bowling Green all season. You're going to couple this year who had a heck of a block on that play as well. That's right Bowling Green will try to impose it's this is his 39th game that he has attended I, I mean who in the world would not want to live would not want to do that uh, Secondly offense number 55 10 yard penalty first down he had to have some Saturday double head. Oh, he's, right? he's had several he he's gets had... like awake and then drives to Clemson or something yes. I wonder who fixed the nail in the tire Pass caught at the Ford company, a tire company, maybe a vehicle wants to step in. It's on this journey right now. Oh, man. Ouch. Meanwhile, big stop for the Broncos. They'll get it back just down a score. Nice looking punt. Bounces at the 20, scooped up. And taken out to the 20. Some critical mistakes. Did score a touchdown in the third quarter, then missed the extra point. Chance to tie the ball game up here with time and a perfect nice job over to the sideline and an excellent catch as well by Sam Bucci. Motion on the line board game was looking to the carry. Maybe a little confusion there. Borgay thought there'd be somebody behind it on third down. From the 40, four-man rush. Borgay dumps it down low at the 35. Penalty flag fall. Roughing the First passer. Foul. Roughing the passer. Defense number 14. That 15-yard penalty will be added to the end of the run. Automatic first down. Wait, and that keeps the drive going. In plus territory at the 45. Run on first down. The time in this game for Western Michigan. On second down play action has a man caught at the 25 weaving his way to the 15 and inside that now figured out once again Trent Sims safety comes flying down they attack where he was quick pass zone scoring percentage 50 percent on the season second and goal bat snap and winds up in the running backs hands top target for Borgay Borgay Harassed, throws a little corner route and in could a four point game. It would have been a three point game. It's a 31 yard attempt. Kick on the way and through. So it's got a chance to play at the next level. Meanwhile, we're still looking at a one possession game and because of that missed extra point, it's still a four point. I don't know if an analytics comes into that if you look at the book and see what it says, but questionable decision nonetheless won't snap it until under 10 they snap it at seven and a push behind trips to the near side with McDonald out of the shotgun here comes the blitz McDonald from the pocket rifles incomplete well as Western Michigan now they could play what perhaps would be the final drive and maybe a touchdown winning drive it's a great punt by sir and a fair so you got trips to the field nub tight in up top Pass caught at the 14. They were dialing up plays. This late in the season, that's pretty rare. On second down, trying to get to the edge and just...
Borgay with Sean Tyler to his right. Four man rush. Toss complete. Under two and a half minutes to go from the 25. Borgay, play action. Surveys, deep shot down the middle of the field. Has a man caught at the 38 yard line. It's Cruz again, weaving his way. Yeah, that was almost a head on collision with the safety. Avoided the contact, made the catch, and the drive continues. A lot of cushion on the perimeter. Blitz, Borgay, Cox and fires from the 27. Buying time. Heavy traffic now is going to tuck it and run at the 25. Oh, dives. Proving that he's got the ability to do it. Let him read it and have the option to keep it. Another blitz. Borgay buying time. Throws underneath. Caught at the 21 and driven backward. Gets in the face of the freshman QB. Not much the Broncos can do here. Two timeouts, a minute 22 on that champions with Dino Babers. Before that, it was 2013 with Dave Clawson. Now the head coach of Wake Forest. This might put pro. This was a job the players through the portal. They've recruited, gotten back to drawing that four-hour circle around this campus and recruiting local guys. Pretty impressive.